Hi everybody, welcome hey back to the channel. We're going to go to the mangrove forest. Today we're going to go to the mangrove forest. Uh, hi SP. Uh, where is the location? The mangrove forests are near Rastanura, about 10 minutes from Rastanura. This has been planted by Aramco. And can you say something about this, Aditi? Um, I Do think we planted more? around like 4 million trees along the Arabian Gulf. And, and then, the Red Sea. They've yeah, already the planted about 4 million trees. And I think they're planting... <coughs> I think they're planting like around 2 million more Yes. near the city. I think it was called Yanbu. Yeah, that's yeah. that's at the west coast. In the east coast, there are already about 4 million trees, it seems. So this has been open to uh, the Aramco employees and the not yet open to public, I guess. This has been, this is open to Aramco employees and their families. So that's where we are going to be visiting now. Uh, time is about 8.30 in the morning. The temperature is about 10 degrees. This is uh, January. This is the outside of the building and when we walked inside, we found ourselves in the visitor center and the first thing we noticed were these super cool interactive coral reef lights on the ground. There was also a large model showing how mangroves protect the seashore. This is a sample about how does mangrove protect the beaches from waves. There's oh. waves, mangrove will work as wave breaker to keep the area without big uh, waves and sun moving to inside the sea. There was also a designated research area. From there, we went to another educational center. These videos were taken from this area. Exactly. The staff also gave us headphones so we could listen to the videos playing here and learn more about the birds and marine life here. Can we walk there? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. We will go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, all these natural trees, Aramco just planted some more. But in the original, it started in this location by itself. Mangrove trees were started uh, growing here by itself. Wow. And Aramco just helped to improve and uh, planted more. Before we went walking on the trail, we went up to the observatory to get a bird's eye view of the entire place. Here, there are binoculars on stands that visitors can use to view the birds that live and migrate here. There are pelicans and flamingos. This mangrove eco park is spread over an area of 64 square kilometers. Mm -hmm. 
Seagulls, pelicans, um, I storks. What? Yeah, uh, yeah, stork. Oh, okay. Do both deep these part of the stork right now? Where? Under that bridge. It's right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is exactly what a mangrove is supposed to do. Their habitat for a lot of birds, birds and maybe water and the kudala species also. Yeah. Shivani, what did you see? Did you get to see pelicans and everything? Yeah. The flamingos are like so big. Uh, so pinkish. Yeah, yeah. The seeds itself, they just they don't just take it and plant it. Mm. So it needs some special treatment to replant re it again. And mm. they are started already to grow. Oh. Start of the trail, there were portable binoculars that we could take with us on the walk. This is the first mangrove eco park in the kingdom, and it provides and protects the habitat of various birds and marine life. This is so beautiful. I've just been to uh, one uh, mangrove forest in India, which is at uh, Pichavaram near Chidambaram, uh, where we could. There was actually a boating trip as well. This is so beautiful and unimaginable in Saudi Arabia. So this is the first time we have been let inside. Uh, this has been open to the uh, public. So it's unbelievably, it's like magic. Wow. Awesome. To promote biodiversity, to preserve and to protect the natural resource for future generations is a key component behind Saudi Aramco's mangrove initiative. information stands that give visitors info about the different types of mangroves, birds, and marine life here. end of the trail. This trail goes about 500 to 600 meters out into the bay. We spent a few minutes here watching the birds and the very beautiful view and then we started to head back.
so that's the end of the video if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and if you still have any questions about this mangrove eco park please feel free to leave a comment down below thank you all for watching we'll see you in another video until then bye